Hi, brothers and sisters and friends. It's November 19th, 2015, and so I want to come on here and share with you um, a word that the Lord put in my heart and in my spirit to share. So, um, so let me just share with you. I went to the dentist on Tuesday and I got a tooth pulled and the dentist that I go to it's not always the same one it's like an organization that has like ten different ones and so I went in inside and I had someone new but I always pray that the Holy Spirit you know will guide the person's hands, Holy Spirit, you know, be with me, protect me, come for me. I don't want to feel any pain. <laughs> and and so something happened. It was the Lord is amazing, of course. But I want to share with you that um I was in this dentist and I was this woman was not comforting at all. I mean, she, I don't know, she, she had an accent. I'm not making fun of her or anything, so I'm just telling you what my experience was and what the Lord did. So everywhere we go, we run into people that are going to let us down. And this woman was so not comforting. Like when she went to put the shot in my gum, normally... I mean, uh, this is not my first rodeo. I mean, I can't tell you how many times they pulled and yanked my teeth out. So, but that's, you know, um, the consequence for my for my past. I really messed up my teeth bad. <laughs> but anyway, um, so well, let me just share with you that this woman, normally what I'm used to, is when they would give me a shot, they would tell me to take a deep breath or, you know, jiggle, like, on my lip <laughs> and to tell me to take a deep breath and then to breathe out and, you know, because I, when you, when you do that, you're kind of, you're taking your mind off the needle going in your gum. This woman didn't do that. And I'm used to, like, someone walking me <laughs> through it, even though I should know what to do. But this woman did not do that at all. And so she just stuck it in. She didn't even jiggle my lip. And I'm like, ugh. And even whenever she put the, the numbing cream on, like, she told me to bite down. And when I bit down, my jaw moved it. Like, it snapped into a different place. And it moved the thing. I'm like, oh, my gosh. This is horrible. My experience, God. I prayed. <laughs> What's wrong? What's going on? This is horrible. And, uh, and so, like, I'm literally, you guys, I, my body was trembling. Like, I strained, like, my hands, my body was shaking. And she, and the only comfort I got from this lady was, don't be scared. Don't be scared. So I'm closing my eyes, and in my spirit, I am crying out to Jesus. I'm like, God, you know, comfort me. You know, guide this, this lady's hands. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I don't know what's going on, but this experience is horrible. Lord, where are you? <laughs> You're like, just come and give me comfort. Like, you know, guide her. She needs she needs help. <laughs> and uh and and so I, I knew he was there. And then but then so she she starts yanking and pulling on my tooth and I'm like and I, I'm big, I feel pain. I'm like, Ugh! you know, like really. And then, then she's like, what? Talk. And like, you know, when your mouth is all numb, it, <laughs> when your mouth is all numb, you're like trying to point to the area that it hurts. And I'm pointing to this area. And then, and then, then she's like, does it hurt? I'm like, yeah. And so she put some more 
like right next to the tooth that she was pulling, she put some more, um, you know, an anesthesia. And um, and when that happened, I saw the Lord's face. I saw like it was a glimpse, and I knew that Jesus was with me. And then from that moment on, it was like the Lord's presence just came over me. And it was the Lord, it was the Holy Spirit that comforted me. And He told me that people will let you down, but I will never leave you. And so that's my message I want to share with you, is that everywhere we go, people will let us down, but the Lord is with us. And there's some scripture I was led to. So when that happens first, I'm going to continue and then give you the scripture. So whenever um, that happened, it was like I was at peace because before it was like 20 minutes of this woman yanking and doing stuff and like hitting my teeth and it was like, like, oh my gosh, I'd never want to have her again. <laughs> And I'm like, Lord, this is this is horrible. Like, clearly, this is not what you wanted me to have. Like, there has to be something. Something has to happen, you know. And something did happen because after I felt God's presence over me, I began to be at peace with what was going on, and just my He took over everything for me. And I was, but it was like as if in my spirit. I was like crying and running to him and like just like help me, help me, help me. And he was there and he comforted me and um, he showed me that he, he's there and it's going to be okay. And so, and then within after that, it was like five minutes and it was done. I'm like, wow, like thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, Deuteronomy 31.8 says, Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never fail you nor abandon you. And I know that there's times that we feel like He has abandoned us. And just seek deeper into Him. Just cry out to Him and He will just he be right there with you. He hasn't left you. He hasn't abandoned you. He is right there with you. And then in Hebrews 13, 5, 6. Don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. So I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? And I'm like, ooh, because this woman was not nice to me at all. And I'm like, Lord Jesus, you know, I know you want me to feel that comfort. You know, you don't want I'm like, please don't let me get her next time, God. Please don't. <laughs> I don't want to go through that again. And then John 14, 26, and this is the Amplified Bible. But the Helper, Comforter, Advocate, Intercessor, Counselor, Strengthener, Stand By, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you all things and he will help you remember everything I have told you. So the helper is the comforter that the Lord sent to me on Tuesday and every day, you know, but really whenever I was like, this woman is killing me. <laughs> she is murdering my mouth, Lord. Like, she doesn't know what she's doing. And where are you? Did you just abandon me? And he's like, no. People will let you down, but I will never leave you. 
I will never forsake you. And just seek me. Call on me. And he loves us. He cares for us. He doesn't want to see us hurt, sad, in pain. And he will comfort us. And it was amazing because after she was finished, it was like I felt a warmness, a heating on the side of my on the side of my cheek. And I knew that wasn't from my tooth. That was from God. Healing me and comforting me. Because He is our healer. He is our comforter. And He loves us. And so, yes, that's all I wanted to share with you. Um, God bless you all, and I love you. Have a beautiful, bl bl a beautiful, have a beautiful, <laughs> oh my gosh. Have a beautiful, blessed day in the Lord.